Hello everybody and welcome to Friday. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a repeat vlog, one that I covered way back in June 2015 when I first started to be vlog all that long ago. It feels a little strange that we come this far. Thank you to the vlogs out there that have been gone for, for like 10 times as long, like 2,000 days. 2,000 days. I made a vlog title back in June 2015 titled Me and Lita. I talk about this topic a little bit now, where I'm going more in depth about today, about how music can change your life. And it changed my life quite a bit if you guys have been, well, watching this channel. But I started band way back in, 20, in 2015. Way back whenever I was in 5th grade, I'm in 9th right now, so... I think 2012, 2011, I started band back then in which it was back in September, I wanted to join band, so, and I wanted to be a percussionist, because I did not like the idea of having to really know, and yet now, and stuff like Requiem and Radioactive, I'm playing actual keyboards, although it just, even though in Radioactive it's just BDAE, and Requiem I have at least have enough to cheat off of. Yeah, if I ever do something like March Band with this, it's gonna be a pain, but I do a percussionist, I'm getting off topic here, but I'm gonna do that with music. So, I, I want to be a drummer, as they were, because it was just a snare drum. And, a bass, and like a bass drum. So, what I had to do was I had to hand in a form the next day was, I had to hand in the form, like, the next day after we got it, one to join me. And then, what happened, what the band director did was that if you wanted to be a percussionist, you had to hand in the next day, if you, you would pick 10, and you would, you, then your form would get thrown into a hat, and you would have to pick. Yes, that's how they pick percussionists at Emma Haven Young Ellen. They put your name in a hat and pulled it. And luckily, I was one of 10 people, don't remember who else. There was a couple friends I had there, but the ball doesn't know them. The ball doesn't know them, but I believe a few of them watch the ball. Now it was a fifth grade band, not really much else happened. And a sixth grade band, not really much else happened. And about a fellow by the name of Andrew Perez, but you guys don't know him. I, you don't, I don't know if uh, he watches the, whole, the channel or not, I still remember. But he has been in my band period for 6th grade band and 7th grade band. 8th grade is only part, part of the way, and I think we love to make the question section myself. But getting ahead of myself here, first, and then we had 7th, and then going into 7th grade, we had a little something that we call band day. My, my, oh my, my elementary school director that pulled the name out of the hat was named Mr. Shotwell. And then, as you guys know, Mr. Murdoch, he was the middle school band director. And he and Mr. L, or as you guys know, my name is Mr. Lincecki. Chesky L. That, he has a difficult to pronounce last name, so he prefers to be called Mr. L. And then they would come together and do something called Band Day, which I did not cover on the vlog. I think in the movie musical playlist there is like band day music. Please. Please. Actually, not a good. What the hell am I doing? So there was something called banding, which basically the middle schools would go to a high school football game along with the marching band, as you guys know how to go in the north. Or the half time performance. And, and they would get to see what life was like for the, for the high schoolers and the marching band. And then I got to meet a fine cast of high school percussionist that I became to become good friends with and then and then that after that band I lead to the next segment of this I guess journey. Journey for music. So then after that band day Mr. Murdoch handed out some forms that were about an indoor percussion club ensemble thing. And I and I wondered what it was and I saw that they had a meeting to whether or not to join. I decided to go there and try and see what all the hubbub was about. And it was a neat idea, and I figured, why, why the hell not, let's just go for it. You just, I don't know. Let's just go for it. And I had a blast, I, ha I met more people. I was to be acquainted with the more people I saw during band day. Because most people who were in March Men carry on the indoor percussion. And then we end up going strong for like a month 
took like a month, a couple months until like April 6th, I think, I don't remember, until our championship performance. And then after indoor percussion ended, it was like in May we had our dan I had a standard concert with you guys. I, I had my standard like we had a concert done. Well, my fourth one, my seventh grade spring concert. We've already done, already done sixth grade winter concert, sixth grade spring, and seventh grade winter. Now my seventh grade spring. And as usual, I brought my DS with me and played. I think I had Pokemon Heart Gold at the time. I know that some girl just came behind me and started watching me play for like a few minutes. Little did I know that was actually Lita. Little did I know. And then, all I thought about at the time was just someone who shared combinations with me. I love for music and I love for Pokemon games. But so I contradicted. So I disregarded that at the time. And then, at, the, at that concert, Mr. L saw me. And then he. And then he was at some of the indoor practices. And then he attacked me, why don't, you, why don't you join Marching Man? I was like, okay. Except I'm more excited than that. I can put it all about Facebook. I put it all over Facebook that night when I got back from that concert. And then we move on to my Marching Man days, which you guys are familiar of the performances of. Moving on to a big section of my life throughout this past few, couple, two years, Marching Man, 2014-2015. So my first year in March Man, so I did not know what to expect, and neither did my mom, or none of us expected how going to go. My first practice was after, I believe, a physics trip. A physics day trip, if you guys are familiar with the Lake Revere Middle School physics day trip that will take to Six Flags Great Adventure. After that day, I had a back trip, but after that... I had once my first practice, and I know it's a familiar face as heck, even some, even some more seniors at the time of indoor that were there. So that, I guess, moved, that moved on and they were still there. So I, and I also saw a few more of my friends, quite a few friends, and I also saw a leader there, although I did not know her at the time, so I saw her there again, but again, I just completely disregarded this. I completely disregarded that and just went on practice over the few weeks. And then eventually we got I got to know her. I got to know her quite well. We became good friends. Because we were just together a lot of the time because we were assigned both assigned assigned the officer the percussion section. We both assigned that and we both had common interest in Pokemon, so we decided to play Pokemon together during the dinner breaks on at band camp. So we got to know each other quite well, and with constant practice every day, a fortune. I don't know. And then, like around the September 2014, I started to develop a crush on her, as you guys know. And then my life like completely turned around. Like, I don't know, it just went like not good for that month. And it was, it was like the week of, the 14, of September 14th to September 20th. On like September 20th to 21st, I believe it was like 21st at like 4 in the morning, a text her message said, I like you, like quotation, she read it that morning at like 8.48, probably believe I remember some, some things, and then nothing happened that previous practice, nothing happened on the 30th when I next saw her. It waited all the way until October 19, 2014, which you guys know I went to Six Flags, and then... Well, first of all, let me back up here. Um, I don't remember when this was, but I'm just... I was going to... I was going Those of you guys who do not know, this band camp was scheduled to be... Uh, band day, 20, 2014, 2015. As I mentioned it earlier, what it was. They so doing the indoor section, knowing the 7th grade band day section. It was scheduled to be on the 10th. But because of the inclement weather, it was moved over to November 14th. So, and I, was, and I was gonna go out that day, I was going to. I think that would have been a memory to tell all my friends, like, at school. Because I, 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 I would have gone back to school. That would have been quite the memory. I leave school to go there, don't have a girlfriend, go back, I do. Because it would have been quite the memory. <laughs> but but then later that, that night, I, I was invited to go to Six Flags and not the next Sunday, because that was the Columbus Day Parade. But they don't celebrate Columbus down here. 
as I know from world history. But the, but the next Sunday, the 19th, we will actually go to Six Flags them, and I kept it thinking that this is no chance. And I did, and it worked out. Alright, so then I had a girlfriend, then we just went on about marching band. Yeah, there's a couple now. And it went on to October, no, November 23rd, 2014. And then we had some periodic performance pe at parades. And it, all, and it kept up to June, to June 10th, 20, 2015, which is day one, which is the banquet. Although it didn't, one, didn't start as a day one. There was the banquet, I was going to cover it in all kinds of only words and updates on um, important days. And then there was a video there and I wanted to show that to you guys, but then, and it's, but I won't, but then I did it on the 11th, but then, like, the next day I decided, hey, let's try daily. And then here we are now, uh, like, 323 days or something like that, point, somewhere between 320, uh, 320. Anyway, that was 8th grade Marching Man, and after that, band really picked up for me. Like I mentioned, after Marching Man, and I, after Marching Man, and I learned that apparently band can get your girlfriend. Band picked up for me because I really started to enjoy band, like after keeping music, not ditching it. And I really enjoy band now. And then, like in May, I ended up having May 19, 2015. I had my concert. I had a concert, and that was a good concert. It was going to be my last concert at work. My last concert in the middle school. Last concert in New Jersey. Oh, that last I laughed out of there. And I had fun with that. Band really did start picking up for me. Then we had the district festival, which was a blast. And then there was the East concert, which I had a blast at. There was the music festival I had a blast at, but most of my fun at was not at performances. Most of my fun was not at performances. I know it's hard to believe. There was a student leadership day at the Camille Pool Day, which you, can, which you can be a teacher for a day. And I really was, temp I, wa I was trying to do, I, want I was thinking about being the band director for a day, because that's going to happen. But I think I heard a rumor somewhere that you couldn't be the band director. But then the teacher that I was in charge of, Mr. Hyman, the uh, no, man. I'm thinking Hyman because there's a coach Hyman here at Woodruff. I was thinking Mr. Hyman, like, what does it sound like? Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Mr. Hyman and Coach Hyman. So Mr. Hyman, and he is, and I asked, and I stayed in lunch with my teachers often. Get to get homework done, so I'm going to have to deep do it. And also, like, I mentioned, PR malformation, bad headaches, lunch, noisy lunchrooms, yeah. And he and there were some quite a few teachers in there often, so I decided. To, so I talked to him about student leadership day, and he said I still tend to form. I believe it, I was acting like a third day or Friday, and it was due the next Monday. So that weekend I worked on my essay. So you have to write an essay, and unfortunately I believe that's on my work, work account. But there was online accounts for like stuff like Word and stuff, and I don't have that anymore. So I do not believe I have that that essay anymore. Yeah, I'm not finding anything about it. So, <coughs> so and then also there was a more, we had, and, and because I felt guilty about, like, dre like about not being able to do anything to help the march man with me leaving, I had a good idea, like, like, a few, uh, like, a, the day of the concert, uh, the, uh, the BTHS concert, June 2nd, to get me and my friend that were the that were eighth graders in the marching band together to actually do like a performance, like a, a presentation to to a band class, to eighth grade band class before I get to join the marching band after middle school. And we tried to put this in action, I think the force or something. But that didn't work out. I tried to do it on a fourth boat, but for some odd reason I think we needed to get like a projector or something because I wanted to show a championship video of like what, uh, uh, I wanted to show the championship video from a, I don't remember what day it was. I don't remember. But, so we wanted to get that together so I believe we 
held off until the eighth, until the ninth of June 2015. Ninth of June without the open house, so I actually ended up going to, it, even though I didn't sign up for band, because I knew it would be here. And I saw a few people, so I believe it worked. But anyway, that was really it for my band adventure. Then the land of New Jersey and Burke. And then, more, and then we moved down here on June 25th, 2015. Nine months later, July 20th, 2015, March Man began. And I got to, no, then I got to meet Stephen, Tyler, Patrick, Harley, Dawson, and Josh. And good days, good times. And after all that, well, my mom bugged the heck out of me, sent him to Grant to get a question on Tom going. And that is what we're doing today. That is. And that is why you guys are getting these vlogs every Tuesday. About professional songs. It's amazing what music can do to change your life. And anyway, that's what we have to say. I, I know it's been a bit long vlog, but it's video calls for it. Music can truly change your life, and I'm living proof of that basically. With everything that's happened to this, like all my friendship, my girlfriend, Something else I, neglect, I neglected to mention earlier in the video. Lita is the one that actually made me do YouTube now. I was I was always gonna be doing YouTube, but but it wasn't gonna be until like I was an adult. And I've only been left playing, not vlogging. So I probably wouldn't have actually had all these music performances on here. Um, I probably would I probably would have just be outdated. Now, why music can change your life. Music brought me a leader, which leader then brought me to actually making these YouTube videos, which is the reason why I'm sitting here today doing this. And that is going to be it for, this, for today, since this vlog is running a little long. Thank you guys for watching, and let's be back here tomorrow, shall we?